Hello, myself Dr. Akhilesh. In this video, I will briefly explain about the Cartagena syndrome. So, to understand the Cartagena syndrome, the first you have to knowledge about the molecular motors. So, what are the molecular motors? Molecular motors are basically the force generating proteins. So, they generate the force and this, by this, they help in the movement, uh, movement in the cell. So, these molecular motors, they are mainly, one is the kinesin, one is the dynein, one is the myosin and the other one is the dynamin. So, this dynein, they are of two types. One is the cytoplasmic dynein, other one is the exoplasmic dynein. The, these molecular motors, the kinesin and dynein, the kinesin and dynein, they help in the transport of cargo in the cell. And the myosin, it helps in the contraction of the muscle. The exoplasmic dynein, it helps in the movement of the cilia in the body. So, in the Cartagena syndrome, this exoplasmic dynein is, in, is affected. So, when this exoplasmic dynein is affected, so what happens is, they, it will lead to the ciliary immobility in the, in the cells or in the body. So, when the cilia they become immobile, it will affect the lungs, it will affect the heart, it will affect the sinuses and it will affect the reproductive system. When in the lungs, when the cilia they become immobile, so this will lead to what? So, this will lead to formation of the mucus plug. So, no cilia movement is there, so this will lead to the formation of mucus plug. So, when the mucus plug is formed here, so what will happen here is that? Now, the bacteria, they will colonize over this mucus plug and this will lead to the inflammation. And this will further lead to what? So, this will lead to the destruction and dilation of the bronchi leading to the bronchi ectasis. So, one feature of this Cartagena syndrome is the bronchi ectasis. In the other feature, if the heart is involved, so this heart during the embryogenesis, it will uh, move to the left side. But in Cartagena syndrome, since the cilia are immobile, so, there is no ciliary movement and which it will lead to what? The heart will stay in the right side only. So, it will not move to the left side. So, this, uh, the heart will stop in the right side. So, this will lead to what? The dextrocardia. So, another feature of the Cartagena syndrome is the dextrocardia. The, in other, uh, the another feature in the Cartagena syndrome is the sinusitis because the, when the cilia become immobile, so there is impaired mucociliary clearance. And when this, this will lead to the recurrent sinus infection leading to the sinusitis. So, another feature, the fourth feature of the Cartagena syndrome, it is the infertility. So, this infertility is due to because the, the sperms, they become immobile because cilia is immobile in them, the sperm will not move. So, when the sperm will not move, it will not be able to transport in the fallopian tube. In the female, if the cilia become immobile, so the fallopian tube, it is lined by the ciliated epithelium. So, when in the Cartagena syndrome, in the female, so this cilia will not move in the fallopian tube. So, because of this one, the ovum is not transported towards like the uterus side. So, what will happen here? Again here, the ovum will not be able to fertilize with the sperm. So, this will lead to the infertility. So, in the Cartagena syndrome, the one feature is the bronchiectasis, other feature is the dextrocardia, other feature is the sinusitis and other feature is the infertility. If we look at the X-ray picture in the Cartagena syndrome, so what we see here is the dextrocardia and in this X-ray picture, it will seen as what? The situs inversus. So, to remember this Cartagena syndrome, remember about this mnemonic also, KGS has BDS, but he does not have moving cilia and the children. The KGS is the Cartagena syndrome, BDS B for bronchitis, D for dextrocardia, S for sinusitis. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share and if any suggestion, please let me know in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.